I've been using some kind of agenda, planner, or calendar management system for as long as I can remember. But it's been really hard trying to figure out the most optimal planning system for myself. And after two years of designing, building, and redesigning my Notion-based planning system, I've decided to stop trying to build the perfect system and hand over the problem to my favorite tool machine learning. My ideal second brain would allow me to just dump all the tasks that I have into a list and maybe I'd set some priorities and goal dates but then I would figure out the most optimal time to do that task and how much time it would take and it would just automatically schedule it in my day. And today we're going to do exactly that. Given my notion task list for the day and some personal estimates for how long it'll take me to get each task done, I want to be able to schedule my entire day at the click of a button or really in just a few keystrokes. What's up y'all, it's Afuego. If you're new to my channel, welcome. I mostly talk about tech and I love finding ways to use AI in my everyday life. So if that sounds interesting to you, definitely hit that subscribe button. Before I start with the code, I wanna show you all my second brain. If you're a Notion enthusiast like me, you've probably seen dashboards like this before. This is where I collect all of the information that I use to manage my life. Comment down below if you're curious on what I put in all of these pages. But today we're just gonna focus solely on my task list and how I plan out my day to day. For this smart scheduler, the first thing that I really needed to do was to find what my data set needed to be and create a single Notion database to collect that information. That database is just my daily task list. Each task can have subtasks with different due dates and I also include some self-defined features like what type of work it's going to be, i.e. light work or deep work, the area in my life that it relates to, which is actually a relation to a database of projects that I've already defined, and the task priority relative to other tasks. This is useful for things that need to be done before other things. And I also have an estimate column that I'm currently just placing my manual estimate of how much time it takes to complete a task. I love this setup because at any point in time, I can just brain dump and then I can select the tasks that I wanna prioritize for the day. And with this setup, the problem that I really wanna solve is finding non-overlapping times to complete every single one of these tasks. You can imagine how juicy of a machine learning problem this could be, but I have to be patient and build out my baseline data set and implementation first. My baseline implementation is just going to distill all the information that myself as an average human being would consider when scheduling tasks. I wanna schedule things with the highest priority first. Then of those high priority things, I wanna knock out the quick wins first, which I'm defining by the length of time it takes to complete a task. And then I wanna schedule things that I dumped into my task list first, because oftentimes I'm creating subtasks in the order that they need to be completed, and I also don't wanna leave tasks on my calendar for too long. Then my baseline implementation is going to simply take these sorted tasks and find the first time in the day that I can complete this task. These tasks are then going to be placed into my Google Calendar directly on a calendar that I use for my daily scheduling. This was relatively straightforward to implement in Python using the Notion API and the Google Calendar API. I defined some API keys and other sensitive information in my Bash RC, but all the other code is available on my GitHub. So I've been using the scheduler for a few days now, and it's really useful in helping remove any barriers that I have to get things done. It's definitely much more difficult to procrastinate because I know exactly what I need to do and when, and also it removes the need for me to figure out where I need to start. And in the past, that's been a huge issue for me. On the first day that I used the scheduler, I had planned to start my workday at around 8 30 a.m but i ended up getting coffee instead of going straight home after my morning workout usually if i had manually time blocked my day this could have been a major complication for me because i'd have to think about shifting all of my tasks and restructuring my schedule due to the unexpected interruption with this smart scheduler it's pretty simple to just delete the things that i had missed in my original schedule and reschedule those tasks for the rest of the day not only is this helping me become more resilient when it comes to unexpected interruptions but it's also giving me realistic planning data for use in the future Eventually, I plan to train a deep learning algorithm that will rearrange and optimize this baseline generated schedule. While I'll probably use deep learning to solve this problem, there's a bunch of existing literature on schedule optimization with many non-deep learning solutions like constrained optimization and linear programming. Maybe we'll compare the performance of those algorithms to deep learning when we have more data. That's it for today, but stay tuned for a follow-up video on this topic where I'll probably implement a much smarter smart scheduling system. But until then, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And also check out some of my other videos on mostly tech topics. I'll see you later.